Right. Greetings, boys and gits, and welcome to Dreadwire Gaming. In this episode, I'm just going to show you what I'm working on. So it's not going to be an instructional video particularly, it's just me showing you a little bit of what I'm up to, because as you all know, Gazgul Fracker is returning, and he's going to be coming with some Mega Knobs, we're quite sure, in that box set. Uh, let's just hedge our bets and say he probably is. Um, and I thought, well, actually, as it goes, I've got a bunch of Mega Knobs, and they are nice and points heavy, and myself, Skarnir and Steve-O were trying to rush to get some, like, 1,000 or 2,000 points sort of done by summer. Um, then to a sort of, like, uh, dedicated, you know, to a particular points level and all the rest, I haven't actually yet, because I'll definitely do the minimum of 1,000. Um, I'm just trying to get maybe 2,000. I, I mean, this is the thing, what Steve-O was saying, I do digress, but what Steve-O was saying was, look, if you want to have a Battleforged army, then yeah, it's going to be a bit more difficult. But I've got like, a lot of points in bigger things, you know, like vehicles. And I, I had a lot of Mega Knobs. Well, I thought I had a lot of Mega Knobs. I had a couple of drawers full of them by the seams of it. But actually, when you start gluing things together, they, they, the pile do not shrink very quick, doesn't it? Because particularly with Mega Knobs, they do come with a lot of stuff. So anyway, I started putting Mega Knobs together and... I just thought I'd sort of show you what I'm doing and why I'm doing it and how I go about it and all that sort of stuff. You know, come and have a look. Come on. So what I like to do with my Mega Knobs is um, magnetise them. So as you can see, this dude here has got some magnets that I did kind of drill holes in and stick them on, but they are protruding much too much out for my liking. But it doesn't matter because by the time they've actually got a something on that wrist, I'll just show you there. Um, if I put something on his wrist, like a claw, it, it just is the same size as the wrist bit between the armor or something like that, like there's no big deal on that one. But what I will do on the others is drill them in um, and sink them in a bit more like this one here. See it's sunk in, but the trouble is with that is you, as you can see here, look, you can end up not quite getting it perfect and end up cutting into the side so I'm gonna to have to green stuff and fix that and yeah uh, I just need to be more careful and do it a bit slower because it's not the only one that I messed up there's another one here that I um, did a similar sort of mess up job on needed come on focus needed a bit of repair or needs a bit of repair should I say so yeah if you're gonna go doing the same as me take your time don't rush like I did on those ones I'm going to show you some that I'm going to do that will be much better than that. But, yeah, oh, obviously I've got one metal knob. I've only got one. I used to have a few of them back in the days. I used to have like four of them, I think. But, yeah, I've only got one. Bless him. Love him. I love, I mean, there's, there's nothing, there's nothing more violent than having a complete metal knob and then putting it in a dread sock and smashing someone's face in with it. <laughs> Someone that's cheating at a game of 40k, for example. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> so, I like to also personalise a lot. So, as you can see with this dude here, um, he's going to be a tank buster that, you know, migrated up to, to uh, becoming a mega knob. So, he's got a bit of tank track there, or he actually destroyed a tank. I made a mistake with this dude too. I actually drilled in from the top to put a, a magnet in the top after I'd already put him together. And I've had to cover that over because I did a messy job of that too. Fill that in. You won't know when it's done though. But the other dudes, I was wise enough to actually do it on the inside. So before I actually glued it together, on the inside of there, I've already uh, filed out a flat surface and put a magnet in. So if I want to add uh, later on a grot or something with magnets in its feet or a trophy or something else that's magnetic, I can so, yeah, it's just, I mean, uh, let me just show you with that magnetic arm there, although I don't know if it will go the right, it's the opposite. Yeah, it will just throw it away. <laughs> uh, that's the right way, yeah. So, there's a claw, for example, that will just sit up on there, see. So, it is magnetic. Ping, ping. Uh, yeah, magnet-wise, I just thought I'd show you. Look, the, the idea is, is that you can switch and change, right? So, you can, that's a, a claw from Cromneck. It's a bit of a sort of dread sort of claw. Um, but like there's one of the traditional sort of like sore arms um, got the claws and claws so 
you can switch and change around then and then you know if you want to have your loadouts where you've got most of your boys with this or with that you can you can switch and change oh that one's missing a magnet <laughs> um also like you know gun arms do that so yeah that's the idea then you can switch and change them up and you can have all the different options because the kit comes with a lot of options um so yeah i thought you could get a good use out of a lot more of them i mean obviously with things like the shooters you have to decide what you're putting on and whether you're putting a rocket or whether you're putting the flamer on or what um so you're not going to get full choice all the time um but you know it helps you change your loadouts just that little bit more i've also got let's move the camera Whoop. We've also got the Cromlech pile and the Cromlech minis at the back here. So I've already put magnets into the arm sockets on these guys so they can accept the different arms. There's a rocket arm. Um, put another rocket arm on, or flamer arm on this side. Look. See, so I've magnetised the arms on these dudes too. So they again, I've got the choice of how I load them out and... Uh, there are some issues with this though, in that I've done magnets in, I got a bit gun ho and I did magnets in all of them, but not all of the connections are full arm connections. Some of them are like this dude. They're down at the hands instead, which is fine. Um, I've got a few examples for him, like you can have saws on his arms. They're Cromlex buzzsaw arms. I think they were the ones that actually come with the dude, actually, as it goes. Buzzsaw arms are a good arm. <laughs> They're ridiculously massive. Um, what else did come with Cromlex that goes on the end? Oh, I think that's it. So there, there is a few ways you can do them. And also, obviously, you can, you can take the other, the other claws and stuff, you know. No problem. You can switch and change with a few G-dubs bits. Uh, for example, power claw. You know, and that way I can, I can have a bit of versatility, and my models aren't always going to look the same every time I field them. There, there could be a bit of difference going on, you know. So it's a bit of fun. I just thought I'd show you that. You might appreciate it. Um, might be an idea. You might want to do your own mega knobs. Uh, how many have I got now? I've got uh, six official GW plasticky ones that I've altered around a bit like I'm just doing minor conversions at the moment just adding oh, focus damn you on the um, face there I've just added an uh, extra tooth to the uh, jaw plate but I've got a lot more that I want to do to these to personalise them up yet but yeah I've got six of the GW ones plus a one metal one so that's seven and then I've got four Cromlech ones, and also I've got two of these guys. I've only built one so far. The um, Necromunda, um, oh, what are they called? Ambots. Uh, so I've given him a claw from God knows where. I can't remember because I've got a drawer full of claws. Um, I changed the things up here to shooters. Um, not a great job of that done, really. I've got I've still got to get the other mold lines off as well. Um, cut the shoulder pads from four fun minis. Um, little glyph on there yeah just yeah just changing them up a little bit the head is from Cromlech I believe it's actually one of the I think it's actually one of the heads that's supposed to go with the these uh, mega knobs so yeah I just thought I'd change it up a little bit you know as I do so yeah just uh, thought I'd show you I've got a whole bunch of these uh, <laughs> all done up in um, I don't know what the bubble chucker bits doing there actually <laughs> all these uh, bits of uh, weapon tips and stuff for all magnetized already and partly primed in some rusty colors but uh, i've got to go a bit further with that obviously but i just thought yeah no, i'm gonna keep repeating myself just thought i'll show you ha 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 i just did